Let's make a delicious Southern Italian cheese pasta egg dish. Call it the cousin of carbonara, and much easier to make too. So, spaghetti. And this is the one time you don't have to make the water taste like the ocean, because Pecorino Romano is such a salty cheese. That can be our seasoning. It ends up being 110 grams, quarter pound per person, it's plenty. Now, we're gonna grate some cheese. Pecorino Romano, it comes from a sheep. Sheep is a pecora, hence pecorino. More than you think, this is our sauce. It's our seasoning and our sauce. Okay. Malta bene, flame over here. All right, oil. Just a little bit, we're just gonna fry an egg. This sits right on top. Okay, here comes an egg. Nice single whack and we can crack that egg right in. See, gorgeous. Just let it happen, baby. You baste the oil right on top of the yolk and you just get this gorgeous pale skin that makes it a little bit stronger. The yolk will still break beautifully into our pasta. Okay, egg to the side because now we're gonna throw the red pepper flakes in there just so they get a tiny bit of toast. And put that on low. Let's see what's happening in the department of pasta. Okay, so. Mm. It's molto al dente. Al dente means tooth, think dental. Al dente. And it is a, it is a reference to the toothiness of the pasta which is actually just the water penetrating into the pasta, but it hasn't really hit the center yet, and you want al dente. Let's take the pasta and put it right into the pan. You can do a little bit of that action. Here we go. Take the cheese. Try and make a huge mess. Very important. I think that you should take a ladle and do this. So the magic of the pasta water, it helps melt this cheese. It helps create a little bit of a sauce. It sort of helps bind. We need more cheese. Boom, 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 boom. I'm making a huge mess. That's pretty much it right there. And then, I made such a mess. I'm so thrilled. Cookery should be messery. All right. We're cool, we're cool, we're cool. Here is our... And you can twirl it like that. Ooh. It smells really good. The nuttiness of the cheese. I have a whole bunch of cheese in here. I'm a little bit upset about that, unfortunately. Here comes some more pecorino on top. The heat of the pasta will melt these lovely little snowflakes more. And then we have the toasted red pepper flakes, but we're gonna hit it with more because that's the way we roll. This is really easy to make because all you need is cheese and eggs. A seriously dried cheese like Pecorino Romano lasts a long, long, long time. So there's no excuse for you not to have it. All right, here comes that totally badass egg. So this is right up there with spaghetti, garlic, and oil because it requires so few ingredients that last a long time in your fridge, or that you always have. Such as cheese, lasts a long time. Spaghetti, lasts forever. Eggs, you always have them. So this is my favorite part, obviously. You come in and you do that, and it's gotta be the most satisfying thing ever. Look at that, holy moly. So, Southern Italian spaghetti with pecorino, hot pepper flakes, and a fried egg. Mmm. Mmm. It's spicy, it's cheesy, it's salty, it's got the toothomeness of an al dente cooked spaghetti, and it is cooked with very few ingredients that you should have at all times. And most importantly, it's easy to make. So please make 